All right, so this is the unboxing of the Nook HD Plus. This is the 9 inch 16 gig version. So, we're going to rip the plastic off of it. I'm going to open her up. There is the tablet itself. And just like my old black and white Nook had, it's got the little cutout down here. You can always tell the Nook stuff apart from all the other tablets out there pretty easy because of that. And we'll go through the stuff here. Pretty much making this video for Dad, so you can see if you want to mess around with this or not, and you can see what you get for your 149. And also for Damien, just because he doesn't like Android tablets, so in your face, Damien. I bought it anyway. So you got the quick start guide in here, and then you got the cable for the charger to hook it up to the PC. And handy old wall charger. Got so many chargers around here. More than you can shake a stick at. And they there you go, the little legs flip up. And I don't know if there's anything else in here. That's pretty much all that there is. We'll shut that box up for now. And we'll skip the quick start guide. Nobody ever really reads that anyway, so we'll uh let's see. Yep, it's all wrapped up in plastic. We'll take the plastic off here in a second. Okay, got the plastic off of it, and then just for kicks, pick it up here. Pretty light. It's a, I believe, an all plastic construction. Of course, all slate gray color. Uh, very light, actually, uh, considering that the iPad I have, this is the iPad 3, is about the same size. The Nook is a 9 inch. This is uh, the iPad 3 is about a 9.7, maybe. And it's quite a bit heftier. And I do have the, the smart cover attached on onto the iPad, but <clears throat> overall it is, the Nook is quite a bit lighter. So, okay, so we got the home button here, we've got on top, that looks like the, that looks like the volume rocker button there, we got the headphone jack there, over here on the side this is the power button. And I think that's about all down down here. I don't know if you can see this. That'd be the connector for the uh, charger. And that grill there is the speaker on the back for playing music or movies. So let's go ahead and power it up. So I'll hit the button on the side. And it comes on. So the Nook is an Android powered device unlike the iPad which is made by Apple and uh, Android is owned and actually created by Google so the Nook and basically any tablet other than the iPad is going to have the whole Google Android feel to it. It's on. It's wanting us to choose our language with United States English. I'm going to turn on the Wi Fi and get us started. Okay, so it sees a few networks around here. I am the top one. It's going to ask for the password. Okay, this keyboard is pretty much like the rest of them. I'm going to key in my password here. Connect. Okay, it's doing its thing, connecting to the network. And you see there it's showing that Jimnet Me is connected to the internet. And that's what we want. We got 
like little strong waves over there. It's the strongest network you can find. So I'm going to hit continuous setup. Okay. Choose your country and time zone. I am in select country, United States. We'll use this information to find the right Nook shop for you. So Nook is the tablet made by Barnes & Noble. So obviously this Nook is going to be centered a lot around the Barnes & Noble, I don't know, the system, the ecosystem. So a lot of books are going to be available on here through the Barnes & Noble uh, app, the bookstore on here. And so that's what they're trying to find out right here, which Nook shop is probably which set of servers is closest to where I am here. Um, okay, we're going to select time zone in Hawaii. I'm going to hit next. And registering device, checking for critical software updates. There is a critical software update available. It's downloading it automatically. So while it's doing that, um, you know, just looking at the screen here, I can tell this is pretty high resolution. It's definitely very clear, even though my phone camera may not show that. Uh, I'd say it's easily as high resolution as the iPad I have with the Retina display. So, and it looks like a good quality piece too. A lot of the other Android tablets I've seen out there, especially some of the no-name ones, the build quality on them is pretty suspect. A lot of rough edges around there, and touch screens aren't very sensitive. Uh, Barnes and Noble, big company, been around. They do things right. I had, uh, like I said earlier, one of the older ebook only or the e-ink only type nooks. Uh, I had it for a few months and then sold it uh, right when the iPads were, I uh, believe right when the iPad 3 was coming out and I wanted to, uh, I really liked the feel of the tablets. The nook was my first one and but I wanted one that would do the internet a little better. The e-ink version of the Nook I had would get on the internet but it was real slow and clunky uh, due to that e-ink version. This is the backlit you know L I think it's LED or LCD and is a just a much better screen for doing things like mail and internet and all that. And of course same thing over here with the, the iPad it's all backlit. And I, again you probably can't tell through here, but the resolution on the iPad and on the Nook so far seems to be about the same. So it looks like it's done with the update and it's rebooting. And one of the best things too about the Nook is that unlike some of the other Android based big box uh, tablets such as the Kindle Fire which is probably a really good tablet, it doesn't have access to Google's Play Store, which has all the apps available. Um, the Nook does have access to the Google Play Store, so you get access to, I don't know, half a million apps or something like that. If you have the Amazon Kindle Fire, you are limited to Amazon's version of the app store, and you don't have access to all the, all the apps that are out there, so it really does limit the use of your tablet that way. So when I was looking at the Nook, which is on sale right now for 149 bucks, which is unbelievably low uh, for an HD tablet, and then I saw that it had access to the Google Play Store, I mean, you can't beat that deal at all. And I like Android a lot. My All three phones that I've had have all been Android phones, so the Nook shouldn't be you know, too far of a cry from there. As much as I like the iPad, I do not like the iPhones at all. And I despise iPods. I don't like the touch screens on iPods. If I'm listening to music, it's usually only at the gym. And I don't like having to look at the screen to change songs or to turn the volume up or anything like that. Uh, I have an old school $29 4 gig MP3 player that I paid, <clears throat> I paid for almost five years ago now. Still kicking. It's got all buttons on the front and side of it. Uh, that I got memorized and I can just press them through my pocket. I don't have to take it out of there to change songs or change volume or anything. 
I just don't like the iPods for for that reason. And and they're overpriced. They're five or six times uh, as costly as a regular MP3 player. So for me, they they don't work. But for a lot of people, they do. And the iPhones, I just don't like because the screens were so small. And again, overpriced. I think for what you get. This HTC One I have is a that I'm filming this with. It's a fantastic phone. Uh, arguably better specs than the iPhone 5, bigger screen, much, much better sound, two forward-facing stereo speakers. Yeah, this has been an awesome phone. So, it's still booting up. All right, and we're back on. Hundred percent. There we go. Almost there. Nook is upgrading, optimizing application. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, thirteen out of thirty-six, fourteen, seventeen. So it's still doing its thing. No idea what the upgrade was that it found, and it didn't ask me if I wanted to install it. It just installed it. Okay, we're going to go with the American English. Okay, we are still connected to the internet from last time. So we're going to continue with setup. Choose your country and time zone. This is what we did before. United States, but we're going to go back to the time zone. Oops, oh, not Alaska. There we go, there's Hawaii. Up next, it's checking for that critical software update step again, and it shouldn't find anything this time. Please read the terms of service. Yep, nobody ever reads that stuff. Agree, because if you don't agree, can't do nothing. Okay, so do you have a Nook account? Yes, I have one from the original Nook that I had, so I'm going to go ahead and log in with that. Uh, if you don't have one, obviously you're going to tap here to create one. And it's going to need your email, you're going to have to make a password, and yada yada. The stuff that we've all done a hundred times now. Okay, my email address is... Working. Hi James, what are your interests? Alright, and I'm pretty much on here. So, it's asking me basically what kind of books. Again, the Nook being a made by a bookseller, it's going to be book-centric so we're going to have to go through some of this first I don't know, what are my interests? Oh, we could go with health and fitness science and tech yeah, I don't know, next good enough Great, now start building your Nook library. Here's what we found for you. So they may or may not want you to be buying books right off the bat here. I'm not buying nothing, so I'm going to hit skip down here. Good afternoon, James. This is your Nook profile. Tap here to select an image for your profile or to create additional profiles. Blah, blah, blah. I I've heard that uh, the Nook also, and I'll have to look into this, you can have more than one person set up on it, which is something you can't do on the iPad. You know, when you when you set this thing up, you log into your iTunes account, personalized to you, and you set up, you know, you set up your mail with your email accounts, and whenever you turn this thing on, it's it's set for one user. I believe the Nook over here can do multiple users, but again, that's something I'm going to have to look into. So, some active shelf, what what I've purchased, yada yada yada, and I'm fairly certain I haven't purchased any of this. Although some of these may be, uh, the Barnes and Noble online store has free book Fridays, and so when I had that other Nook. 
I was downloading the whatever free books are out there, so this may be some of those from there. And some of these may have come on here too, I'm not sure. I think this Fifth Witness one, I was actually reading uh, when I sold the other one. I never actually finished it, so... No, sorry, it was this one right here, Soft Apocalypse. I remember now. Looks like I'll actually get to finish that. All right. 